Hi all of you, this video is meant for how to prepare for DM, uh, medical group of NEET SS 2024. So before even we go into those uh, aspects, I want to tell you and how was the pattern of this year compared to last year and uh, NEET SS 2023, was it all from general medicine standard of PG exit standard or PG level preparation that will help a student to get into the good rank of NEET SS DM medical group or any SS uh, DM superficiality. Now, when you look into NEET SS, the pattern of exam is 150 questions from general medicine of various subtopics. And if you look into any SS, it's going to be 80 questions out of that, 25 to 30 questions is from general medicine with subtopics and 50 questions from superficiality that you wanted to do. Correct? Now, is all that can be done only with Harrison 21st edition is the question, million dollar question that has been asked. Now, to answer this in one word, of course, 70 to 80 percent is manageable for the NEET SS 2022, but the scenario is not the same with NEET SS 2023. I mean, if you ask me why, because the number of questions of the recall have done by the faculty and we have all the faculty and the feedback from all of them, I am just putting it forth across to you, that to tell you that of 150 questions, close to 100 questions are from Harrison 21st edition, no doubt about it. Yes, can be done only if you have done Harrison, 100 question manageable. But 50 question are from superficiality standard of cardiology, of neurology or nephrology or endocrinology or whatever the superficiality and subtopics. Yes, from those standard of speciality books, these questions were asked. Both for NEET SS 2023 and any SS November 2023. Of 50 questions in NEET SS 2023 and of 25 to 30 questions of uh, any SS November 2023. Now, how to manage? It? Student can definitely ask me a question. Sir, Harrison 21st edition is a single book and we would have had an exposure of that book from undergraduate days and definitely for all three years of post-graduation, there is a book followed to pass the final exam as well. Now, to fine-tune it and I mean refine it through going through the learning app, speed learning app videos, there are plenty of videos available based on Harrison 21st edition based classes. I mean, you could manage uh, 100 questions, but what about the other 50 questions which could be deciding? The 100 question is going to just to complete the exam and that is not to decide any good rank. This 50 questions are of superficiality standard that means, I mean a student is expected to read a superficiality book of all the 11, 12 superficiality book from infectious disease to genetics. Yes, from uh, cardiology to nephrology to neurology to endocrinology. So, or rheumatology, I mean whatever, or oncology. So, whatever the superficiality books to go through each and every superficiality book and to master it and to give this exam and to complete the preparation to give, is it possible? Not possible. Uh, or is it possible to go through all the videos of all superficiality, of towards superficiality and along with Harrison 21st edition to go to the exam, is it possible? Again, it is a difficult task and close to impossible. Then how to go about it? That's the reason why what we decided last year after looking into the paper of 2022, we decided this could standard could pick up and they may not keep only at the level of PG standard. They will definitely rise it to the superficiality standard and they will definitely want to differentiate it from a pre-PG exam. Because the concept, uh, I, mean, I mean, was in some of the students' head was just like a pre-PG, just the I mean, a kind of a question that you go through, I mean, in medicine could get through something like that. No. I mean, this exam was very, very clearly defined and this exam will progress, I'm telling you, 2024, the proportion of questions, which was 100 of uh, general medicine standard and 50 of superficiality standard could be even 50-50 percent, 75 percent of general medicine off from Harrison based or 21st. 75 questions of superficiality standard could be there. So, you need to anticipate that. So, that is the reason why what we did. All the classes that are handled by the faculty members in Speed Learning app through Speed Institute are post DM faculties. And all the post DM faculty, they have gone through these exams well and they have completed their uh, DM program. They know how questions can be taken and what are the areas it can be done. So, they have and they also have done repeated recall sessions of the, all the exams. So, they know where is they asking or from which area they are asking. So, what has been done is, so suppose for example, a cardiology, a faculty in cardiology or a neurology, nephrology, 
they have just gone through the entire 21st edition, new edition of Harrison and they have known what all things to be dealt by line by line, page by page, word by word, they have done it and they have assimilated it, they have understood and what to be taught and what to be presented and, and it has been presented in that way. And uh, topic wise and uh, I mean speciality, topic, subtopic wise and then suppose cardiology is there, from Harrison whatever the cardiology session in Harrison has been covered line by line and from Ronwald cardiology, what all the relevant material and required information and the precise and concise aspects of each and every topic, for example, it's going to be a CAD or an arrhythmia, whatever the topic. For all that, in addition to Harrison, they have added 25 to 30 percent of superficiality standard of resource into each and every topic. So that post DM approaching Harrison and to mix up both Harrison and the superficiality and to give a material and to concise manner to you, yes, will be a solution for your upcoming exam. So that's what has been done in speed learning app. So each and every faculty has gone through the recent guidelines. See, it is not like any other app that once in a year we record and load it and keep selling it so that we don't do it. Because changes happens and guidelines changes and recommendation changes on monthly basis and or six monthly basis. So that cannot be one pre-recorded session and keep selling it for two years. That's, that is not the culture in speed at all. The classes in speed happens on daily basis. They are live classes. They are interactive classes with the faculties. So you have an opportunity to learn medicine from your place in online and enjoy those classes and relish medicine and you look into uh, the most uh, passionate subject is your medicine that you are able to interact with the topmost faculty and expert faculty and he also has a passion to teach you and there is a frequency which is getting matched and dedication which is getting matched and in that situation, in that platform, you are able to ask questions, you can discuss with the faculty and you get a complete concept about it, complete understanding about the subject. That's what is happening. In case you are in a duty or not able to attend, then the same classes are getting recorded and they are edited and been uploaded in the speed learning app for your learning at a later date. Okay. And this is a cycle which happens on daily basis. So, MCQ is getting uploaded daily basis, video is getting uploaded daily basis, grand exam, new grand exam is uploaded on a monthly basis. So, it's a dynamic process which is happening. So, you are not supposed to, and it keeps changing relevant to exam to exam. So, exam to exam pattern changes. And I mean the teaching also should I mean encompass and to accommodate those changes for you to get a good rank in the subsequent exam. So, that's what is happening in speed. So, if you look into the, when you open the DM medical group, need SSDM medical group, you see vast content and you say, sir, what to read, where to read and how to start. See, what I suggest to you is, there will be two set of content. One, the content which has happened in 2023 and with a rapid course for those students who went for NEET SS 2023. So, in case you want to just start and you want to know what is the feel of it, just go through the rapid course once. So, you will know. Even before that, what you do is you just go to the recall sessions. So, you will know what are the questions are asked. And what you do is you go to the rapid session and just you can finish the rapid session within 10-15 days time if you work closely. And that will give you a broader idea, I mean, what I should uh, learn. With that, what you do is either you can go through the complete uploaded content of Harrison 21st plus superficiality blended uh, classes of every specialty like cardiology, neurology, nephrology, oncology, endocrinology, genetics, infectious disease or rheumatology and immunology. So, all those which are complete content which are loaded, you can go through that and start preparing it or else you feel that I want to start fresh and I want to follow a new schedule and that is also an option for you where it is getting uploaded as live sessions, rheumatology live, cardiology live like that. The sessions are happening on as per the schedule which you have posted. So, go through those schedule and accordingly you keep attending the classes and those sessions are loaded on weekly basis. So, you can follow that aspect also. So, as you go through this and slowly over a period of time, small, 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 you will read and you will finish within six months. That is the way to do it. Or if you are preparing full time, you want to finish in two or three months, all the content which are uploaded or Harrison based 21st based edition class are there, you can go through it and you can complete it. And there are almost close to 22 grand exams and we are going to load another 8 grand exams. So, there are 30 grand exams, each grand exam is 150 questions. Okay. So, it is going to be almost uh, 4,500 questions and, and the Harrison and sociality based questions are almost 20,000 questions. So, you have 25,000 questions which are already available in speed learning app for your references for you to practice. 
So it's a complete one-stop resource for you to prepare for your NEET SSDM Superficiality Program of any specialty or any SS Superficiality Program of any specialty. And it is going to be an end-to-end -end from the day you join and it's going to be a hand-holding and you're going to, you will definitely enjoy uh, learning medicine, also enjoy the support and the comfort level with the faculty team and although the support team is going to render to you until you are into the exam, after the exams or the counseling session, until you reach your superficiality, the speed team is with you to support you and to make sure that you reach a comfortable superficiality of your choice and the institute of your choice. And also at the same time, you look into the results of past five years, consistently it has produced topmost results from first rank to overall all ranks. And more than 95% of students who have read through Speed Learning App, Speed Institute has topped the exams, have done extremely good and they are very, very happy. And the relationship is amazing and great. And once again, I wish you a great year of our preparation for NEET SS 2024 and NEET INESS 2024. And also I welcome all of you to join for your DM preparation of superficiality through Speed Learning App and through Speed Institute. On behalf of all the faculty members, I welcome you uh, to join and register with Speed Institute for your superficiality learning. I definitely assure you, you will have a great time of learning medicine. At the same time, you will get what you wanted in superficiality. Looking forward to see you in Speed Institute and Speed Learning App. All the best. Welcome.